Hello guys, welcome back to another new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this top 3 unique and exciting video effects on Filmoid 12. So without any delay, let's get started. So the first effect is dynamic black bar. So we can see I already added a video into the timeline. Now go to the effects section and search cinema. And add cinema 21 ratio 9 into the upper track. You can set height and opacity from here. I increase some heights from here. Ok now it's perfect and you can see it's a normal black bar effect. So we can make it more dynamic. So for this first of all we need to remove our video background. So for this select your video and go AI tools. Then go smart cutout. And select your subject from here. And then click start cutout. And you can see Filmora automatically tracking our video subject. So after done click on save. And you can see now our video have no background. So now duplicate this by holding alt button from the keyboard. Then select your first video and disable smart cutout. And now you can see we have two video here. First of all normal video and another is remote background video. So first set your normal video, then set your cinema overlay and set your remote background video into the upper track. And now you can see it's look like more dynamic. But it's dynamic in both side, but we need it only upper side. So for fix this, select your upper video and go mask. Then select single layer mask and set your mask like this. And now let's check preview. And you can see our video is like more cinematic and dynamic. In this process you can make dynamic black bar video. The next animation I wanna show you is the texture animation. This animation is created by this one picture. So now let's see how to make this. First of all add your image into the timeline. Then scale up your image. I set it to 200%. Then zoom out your preview window like this. Then zoom the timeline. Then go to the first frame and add a keyframe in position. And set your image like this. Then go 15 frames later. And then set your image like this. Then again go 15 frames later. And now set this side. And then again go 15 frames later. And now set your position like this. Ok now our animation will look like this. Now right click on keyframe and select all keyframe. Then again right click and click copy keyframe. Then again go 15 frames later. And right click on this and paste keyframe. Then again select all keyframe and select copy keyframe then again go 15 frames later and paste keyframe continue doing this then again zoom in your preview window and now let's see how our animation looks so now it's look like this so after this one click on export, rename it and export in high resolution. 
after done add this video into the timeline then go to the effect section then go new blue effects and then go filters and add frame rate effects to this video then go effects panel and set one second hold from here and set frame rate to 3 fps and now let's check the preview and you can see our animation is showing now you can copy and paste your animation ok now it's time to add text for these code titles and add default title into the timeline then double click on your text and edit your title then set font size and change your font and increase some scale and change color so after done select your text and go animation and select this animation from here and increase duration to the maximum now let's check our preview and you can see our animation is showing and our texture animation is done the last effect I want to show you is the unique glow effect you can use this effect in your cinematic video so let's see how to make this you can see I already added a video into the timeline then duplicate this video and set it to into upper track then go effect section then go Boris effects then go blur and add Gaussian blur into the upper track then go to the effects section and increase your blur level then go to the video and change blending mode to color dodge and you can see our glow is already showing but we can make it more cinematic for this go color option and then go curves and set your curves like here first increase the shadow and decrease the highlights Play with these cards for unique glow effect. So you can see our glow is already showing. You can make it more cinematic by increase your blood threshold. You can see there's burning effect showing right now. You can add a keyframe in the threshold. Let's try this. First add a keyframe in blood threshold, then go some frames later and increase your threshold. Now copy this keyframe and paste it in some frame later again. Now let's check the preview. Render frame for a smooth playback. So, as you can see, a unique glow is showing right now. You can use this effect in your next cinematic video. So, this is all about our three new unique video effects on Filmware 12. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any question, please let us know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.